Hey everybody, welcome back to the Apke Brothers channel. In this video, it is gonna be a short tutorial on how to take the latitude and longitude and turn it into a zip code. So the thing about land investing a lot of times is the zip codes for the land is incorrect. So how I like to do it is reverse engineer it. So you have the latitude and longitude and you reverse engineer that into getting the zip code and it makes it for much more effective data when going to send out mail or contact landowners, anything like that. To do this, we use the software called geocode.io it is extremely cheap where you can do a thousand records for a very very cheap price so i'm going to get to it and show you how to do this all right so on here i have a very simple data set i have the lot acreage i have latitude and i have longitude and what i want to get out of this is the zip code and i can also get on geocode.io i can get the parcel address as well so you're going to get very good data out of this so let's get over to geocode.io all right, so here I am on the dashboard for geocode.io. I'll put the link in the description below. And you can see this is a very simple dashboard. Like I said, it's a very inexpensive software to use, and it's gonna take that latitude and longitude and actually give us a parcel address, including the zip code as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit get something done. I'm gonna hit upload a spreadsheet, then I'm gonna upload a spreadsheet. And you're gonna hit your file that you already have saved. And then it's gonna shoot out a question. Like we wanna go from latitude and longitude to street address. And this street address is going to include zip code along with the address. A lot of vacant land doesn't have actual addresses. So it might just have the street name, but it is going to give us the zip code for that latitude and longitude. Please select columns that contain latitude and or longitude. And this is from our sheet that we uploaded. Lot acreage does not contain that. So do not have that in there. We have latitude and longitude in those two columns latitude and longitude columns. So I'm going to hit preview and you can see it is going to map out the land that you have, the parcels that you have and where it is. Just make sure the location's correct. If the location's incorrect, double check your latitude and longitude. That looks good to me. We are in Kentucky. That's where it's supposed to be. All these are essentially just additional fields. We typically do not do this. You can see the other information you can get though. You can get census data. You can get a ton of data within here just from that latitude and longitude. But what I'm going to hit is continue and go forward and then you're gonna hit start. This is basically gonna be the download and it is going to process on your dashboard and the bigger the file is, the longer it will take. That was very quick because it was just about 20 lines and I'm gonna hit download. All right, so here is our completed data that it spit out. So remember, these are the only three columns that we gave the software. We gave it this column and we get all this other information. You can see the accuracy score how, for how accurate they think it is, the street name, the street number if accountable. And like I said, zip code is one that we use so much in land. It's very valuable to have this zip code. So you can input this into your file. You can do this with very, very large files. And this is going to give you all the data based on that very, very detailed latitude and longitude number. Hopefully that video was helpful. We use geocode.io for so many different things in our land investing business because how valuable it can be with just giving it that latitude and longitude number. Otherwise, if you have any more suggestions for videos like this, please leave the ideas in the comments below. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button right below. It really helps us move forward and grow the Apke Brothers channel. Other than that, thank you so much. We'll see you next time.